car. Okay, good. We got the game. All right, we're going. All right. We'll give it a minute or two, see if anyone else wants to trickle in. Break ended up being a little bit longer than I had originally intended, but there were a couple texts and calls and stuff that I needed to respond to super quick because, you know, life happens. <laughs> it's exhausting, and you wish it would pause sometimes, but it doesn't. <laughs> At any rate, here we are. Like I can say we'll give it a minute or two before we jump in, but we're continuing our continuing our uh, run through of Neverwinter Nights. It's fun. It's a fun, fun game. I enjoy it. I've been having I've been having a good time with it. This is my first time playing it. Um, it's always it's been I've I keep I always say it's been um, it's one of those games that was kind of on my radar. And always like, oh, I should play that one. Oh, yeah, I should play this game. Oh, yeah, it looks kind of fun. I should play it. But there was always something else that I was playing in the meantime. There was always, there just always seemed to be something else to kind of uh, take my uh, to to take my attention and and get in the way of me playing it. But finally, I decided, you know what? I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna I'm gonna play this game. And I have been. I've been having fun with it. It's a very nostalgic sort of run through, even though I've never played this game itself. Um, it's very nostalgic for me, at least sort of that era of gaming. I, I, I've explained a lot how, um, how this game is from the era of gaming when I first really started getting into like computer gaming and stuff. I mean, my first games that I ever played were N64 and even a little back, I, you know, the tail end of like the Super Nintendo and all of that era. Because the Super Nintendo was my older sister, more so her era, but so she, she had it. And I would, uh, and would occasionally let me, her little brother, <laughs> play with her um, in some of those old school games. Um, and then N64 is the big one, but then when I started getting into computer gaming was around the time that sort of late 90s, early 2000s era is when I started getting into to like computer gaming and stuff like that. And So that's about the era that this game came out, so even though I've never played this game, it just it makes me feel pretty... <clears throat> excuse me, pretty nostalgic for that time in my life. Um, so it's been nice. It's been it's been fun playing that, playing it because of that. Let's see. I know, Kitty. Are you saying hi to everyone? I know. You don't go by. You. You've been very energetic. I think maybe the fact that we're actually getting some sunshine has made her very excited and energetic because she has been sprinting around the apartment. That and all of the activity happening out in the hallway. I can hear. I'm pretty sure one of my neighbors uh, in my hall is moving out, and so there's been a lot of thumping of, I didn't go out and look, but either furniture uh, being removed, or if they've already moved out, then it's the uh, the sounds of, you know, apartment maintenance doing the usual, <laughs> the usual uh, resident swap um, maintenance. You know, replacing carpet if they had pets. You know, pulling out any old busted appliances or anything like that that needs replacing. Things like that. Um, a lot of noise has been been going on out there because of that. But at any rate, all right. Let's see here. It's it's been about four minutes. Let's go ahead and get ourselves in here. So we need to flop over here and then let's load up our game. Posted. There we go. And it looks like our camera is keeping up. Excellent. I think I finally figured out how to manage the system so that it doesn't freeze up like like crazy whenever whenever I'm playing a game. It was it kept freezing up and getting a whole lot of lag, um, and it was weird. So let's see. I'm pretty sure I finished this room, but I'm just gonna check and make sure. Yeah, this one's got, um, I, I don't know why there's all that weird noise coming from here. I don't, I don't really know what the deal with that is. Oh, hey, did I look in this chest? This chest, I don't remember checking out this chest. No, a bunch of unidentified shurikens, which I'm hesitant about because I can't always sell those, but. Ah, well, definitely can't sell them if I don't take them. So I think we're, I think we're done with everything that there is in here. Um, let me check my journal. Let's see here. 
one remaining water Davian creature and bring it back to Arabeth in any condition, dead or alive. Seek clues about what has caused the plague. A henchman would be helpful. Yeah, and we've got Tommy here with me. Um, henchman. Uh, I can use your tone of a call. Yeah, so it's like this is the thing. We lost a henchman. Something something glitched, and one of my henchmen did not respond. Um, so yeah, we had our we had our bard friend, and she died and never came back. <laughs> so we lost we lost one of them permanently, which is a little sad, but you know. Let's see here. The call to the news master. It's a ring on the corpse that uh, Jermaine would probably like to have returned. Okay, so I gotta find Jermaine. Return that. Seeing beggars nest guard was found captured by the Sword Coast boys in their warehouse. He's been told to wait where he is. Uh, so probably need to talk to a guard there. So we got to get those taken care of. Um, this one, I remember we have to find a few more things. Um, there's tomb themselves to his assistant Briley, who currently stands guard over the recently discovered tomb of one of uh, Lucid. Since tomb can be reached via the cellars of a house on the east side of the Peninsula District. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, I'm trying to think about what's going to be the best. I kind of want to take. I, I kind of want to just clean up these, like mop up these last few beggars' nest things. Um, close that out and get our map open here. Uh, I think I think we've got this place cleaned out well enough we can just walk our way out rather than using up our stone or anything like that. I don't really know why I'm hesitant to use up my stone. It's not like it gets used up. It just, I don't know. I'm pretty sure we already like looted all of these corpses and stuff, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we already got that stuff taken care of. Uh, did I check these corpses? I don't remember checking these corpses. Aha, apparently I did not. I mean, they're not using their money anymore. They're not using their money, and this game is old enough that it really doesn't have any sort of morality system. I really wish there was, like, something else about this pit. This pit seems like it should have a purpose, but it doesn't seem to. It just seems to be there for flavor. Did I check these bags? I think I did. Yeah. Did check those old bags. And these corpses. Yep. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've pretty thoroughly examined everything here, but never hurts to double check as you're just kind of walking by. With all of that taken care of. Yeah, this is the exit. And this takes us back out, I believe. Am I not going through here? There we go. That was weird. Okay. Alright, so we're back out here. This is, I think this is one of the places to go. Uh, so I know that's a place that we can go. And this is that one, this is that other one crypt that I think the the mission in the journal was talking about. So, so, but for now, I wanted to go back here. And so I need to find, wait, who is it? Who are the two people that I needed to find? I needed to find, uh, Jemaine, so we need to find Gemini. Gemini would probably like, okay, so we need to return the ring to Gemini. I had no idea where Gemini is. And then probably talk to the guards. So wait, hold on. That's the warehouse. Barricaded home, barricaded home. Strange, but okay, that strange building. We need the mark of the snake or something like that. Um, the 
shining serpent. I think it was like that you need to find the, the mark of the snake or something like that. Let me go talk to the door or whatever it is that like triggers it. I'm pretty sure. Okay, hold on. I'm going to change the wall of force blocks the way those who follow the serpent may enter. Do you bear the proper sign? I do follow the serpent. Infidel, only those who carry the token are true followers. You shall not pass. Okay, and then the door spazzes out. We need to, like... Yeah, see, this is... <laughs> this is where the game, it spazzes out on me every time. I don't know what I was expecting. There we go. Okay. Continue. Goodbye. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So we handle that. So... happening okay there no wait hold on I want there we go that's what we want okay so let me try going to the shining serpent and see if there's like a gang or something I'm trying to think about what it, so so my I, I think I'm remembering now last time I left off I went back down into that tomb to see because I just got the the on T taken care of whoa Whoa, that was surprising. I'm going to be honest, I was not ready for that. How are we? How are you doing, Tommy? Let's see. Let's get our flurry of blows going here. All right, good. Tommy's smart enough to use his own potions and everything, which I appreciate. I appreciate wards and minions and hirelings that can take care of themselves. Having to babysit is always a pain. Yeah, we're kinda we're kinda wrecking these guys. These assassins aren't uh aren't all that excellent at their job, are they? I mean it works for me, but who of us is gonna get that kill? Looks like it was me. All right, let's see here. Is there anonymous letter? In the place of a signature, this letter bears the mark of a stylized reptilian eye. Do you suppose it's the mark of the serpent? Other than this marking, there is nothing to indicate who the author may be. Our agent within Neverwinter was informed, has informed us that several of the water avian creatures have been delivered to Erebeth and are now stored in the safety of Castle Never. If all of the creatures are discovered, a cure for the Wailing Death will be discovered and our efforts will be for naught. That's that's fishy. It will not be possible for our agent to orchestrate an attack upon uh, Castle Never, as was done with the Academy. Those who serve Lady Arabeth must be stopped before they deliver the creatures to the safety of the castle at any cost. Should you succeed in your rewards, in this, your rewards will surpass your grandest imaginings. Should you fail... You will feel pain and suffering, such as no mortal was meant to bear. Long live the people of the eye. This note should be shown to someone in authority. Okay, um, so let's take this and let's put this in our key notes section. Um, and we'll take the potion of bark skin, which can go in our little potion pouch there. Um, cannot use this. This can go over here to be sold, I think. Yeah, okay. All right, so we got that. Okay, first things first. It's a reptilian eye. And so I just, I got to I gotta do my diligence. I got to do my diligence and check. Um, but I'm thinking that's going to be a nice, um, I think that'll be a really nice uh, lead to follow up on because I'm betting that's going to direct us by going to talk to someone of authority. That'll give us some nice... Uh, Directives here. Alright, so I just want to back up and get out so I don't get stood in there. Token. Okay, only those who carry the token. Alright, so it's not just an, a picture of a reptilian eye. There's an actual explicit token that I need to find. So that's good to know. Okay, I'm still going to go back here and I want to check out the, the bar here. Because I'm wondering if that's where I found this Gemini that I need to return things to. 
make our way over there. Let's see. This is this is the place. Um, patron, refugee, refugee, refugee. Callahan, refugee, refugee. Yeah, because I cannot remember for the life of me where this Gemini individual is. Refugee, refugee, refugee. Harbin Ashensmith, patron. Drake. I like to think that's like the artist Drake. Not up here, are they? Let's go up here and see. Oh, I haven't even been up here at all, so apparently not, but maybe there's some stuff to do up here. Even if there's nothing to do, I bet you there's stuff to pilfer, like a vampiric touch spell that I can probably sell. Sweet. Kind of disturbing that some random person in a hotel has vampiric touch, but you know, we'll just we'll just go ahead and look past that one for now. Not overthink this. Oh, ruins of Illisk. Have I read this one? Ruins of the ancient city of Illisk stand in the southern shore of the Mirar, in the lee of Closeguard Island. All that remains of this once proud city are a few shattered towers and toppled statues, choked with creepers and thick brush. These ruins are bounded by the north, bounded to the north by Luskin's busy market, and to the south by the city's noisy slums, and bisected by the Dark Walk, the street that leads to the Dark Arch. The Dark Walk is named for the haunted reputation that clings to the ruins of Illisk. Fear of the magical traps and guardian monsters, as well as the sleepless undead, has, sl has kept most of the tombs and treasure undisturbed. Still, a few enterprising rogues have escaped the ruins with spell books, scrolls, magic armor, and rich, catch rich caches of gem uh, gems and coins. The dead far outnumber these lucky few, though, and the Luskanites have a saying. Only the most desperate try to rob the dead of Illisk. Luskanites rarely brave the overgrown northern ruins, even in the full light of day. There are persistent rumors of slave traders kidnapping folk and taking them below, a fate often threatened for unruly children by Luskanite mothers. That's horrible. That's so terrible. <laughs> no known maps of the underground chambers and passages exist, and no Luskanite will admit to knowing their ways. Interesting. I don't. I don't want to keep. Wait, was that book the only thing in there? Yeah, it was the only thing in there. I don't want to keep it, but interesting, interesting bit of lore. I, as someone who spends a lot of time writing lore, I'm someone who appreciates a good, a good, healthy dose of lore. Locked, not for long. <laughs> oh, sorry. I thought he got it. I, it's taking him a minute. There we go. Sweet. Free stuff. Some poor patron's gonna come in here and be like, this is a, the, the, all of this stuff probably belongs to refugees. Let's be realistic. You know, if it's all refugees down there, you know that's what it is. You know that I'm stealing all of the worldly possessions of a few sad, displaced citizens of Beggar's Nest. Really, I'm a monster. But there's no morality scale here, so I can do what I want. Which is kind of nice, actually. If I'm being perfectly honest, it's a nice change of pace. It can get kind of tiring having to keep in mind morality scales in every single game, because every game includes them nowadays. Um, it's become kind of a staple for the RPG uh, genre of games. So it's kind of nice that it's not something that we have to worry about. Which, like, it sounds horrible. Cause it's like, oh, God, I'm so good. I don't have to worry about consequences of stealing from innocent people. <laughs> sounds horrible, but at the same time, you know, it's a, it's a game. It's a game, so it seems like it, uh... I don't know why I grabbed those arrows. I don't need them. I guess I can try and sell them. We'll put them here with the rest of our found crap. Um, but, yeah, it sounds, it sounds so horrible. I wish I could just pilfer and disrupt in peace. Yeah, aha, there's a box. Two whole gold. I like to think that people view that box, that size of box, as entirely necessary for just a couple of coins. Um, ooh, potion of eight. Yeah, I'll take that. Huh. 
Tommy Undergallows, whatever would I do without your help? How would I ever pilfer things? Like this silver ring that was probably an heirloom. Owl's Wisdom? Um, Owl's Wisdom, that sounds like something that can go in there. Potion of Aid? Do I have Potion of Bless? I do have Potion of Aid in here. Put that in there. Okay, great. My extensive potion bag that is so extensively full of potions that I don't even put all of my healing potions in it. Potions, Master. I need your strongest potion. How much longer until that video dates me? Right, like how much how much longer until people hear me say that and be like, "Oh, he's old." I feel like that one I feel like it's getting close with that with that reference. Potions master. No. Okay, so this um ba 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 ballerina, what whatever her name was, whatever his or her name was. Um they do not appear to be here. Thomas Wheelwright. Didn't really need to worry about him. Uh, I I don't I I know there was one that like there was their brother in the temple here, but I think I already took care of that one. I don't think it's the Ge uh, Gemini. Gemini, that's who it was. Yeah, Bertrand, Priest of Helm. And that's all. Th that's all that's here. So it's not these guys. Um, so there's that. Um, so let's just check all these barricaded homes um, and make sure I'm not missing out on who this Gemini character is. Ge Ge Gemini, is that you? Ge Gemini? And then, did we check upstairs at this one? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's, I might need to change my... Yeah, it looks like I need to change the camera. Sometimes the camera angle... Oh, oh, oh. Dang it! Ah, come on now. <laughs> um, okay, okay. Let's just try. Oh my goodness! It's. I don't know if it's gonna let me up here. I think the thing's glitching out pretty hard here. There we go. Okay, we got it. Okay, it wasn't even the guy. That's not even our man. <laughs> I already talked to you, and he was all, like, grouchy because I broke into his home or whatever. Some people are just so touchy. <laughs> okay, so that's not the barricaded home we're looking for. This is not the home you're looking for. Um, I know the warehouse isn't what I was looking for. That's how we can get down to those crypts that I kind of need a key for. Um... Let's keep heading this way. So we got a barricaded home. We got two barricaded homes here. Okay, let's see here. Did we... I know I've been in here, so maybe this is the one with Gemini in it? Who are you? Gem yep, this is the one. This is the one. Uh, I found this ring in the cult hideout. Recognize it? That's... That was my brother's. Always had it with him. It's dead. I know it. I don't have much to give you. Just keep the ring. It reminds me of how he died. Uh, I don't... No, this guy's in pain. I don't want to freaking... Like, this is this is where, like, even if there's not a morality scale, I don't want to... Yeah, farewell then. Keep safe out there. Alright, well, we'll call experiments, experience from finding your dead brother reward enough. Okay, so that takes care of that one. Uh, let's go ahead and go talk to the guards. I think we've got a couple reasons to potentially talk to the guards. Although this assassin, this new assassin thing, um, might be, it might be intended that I handle that one with, um, Lady Erbeth, uh, specifically. But let's talk to this guy. I don't know what's been happening, but the undead have dropped off completely. Not much for us to do here now. Uh... Same, yeah, it was Yanti named uh, Golnan who caused it all. Yanti? Well, what the hell was one of those do Well, what the hell was one of those doing in Neverwinter? Wait, was that one of the Waterdavian beasts brought in? Damn them all. 
I know we need to ki need a cure and all, but I lost good men to that zombie horde. Blast it, who let that snake beast loose? I'd better get some answers when I file my report. Things I should be fine now. I should hope so. Took a big risk wandering around in there. Could have turned out much worse. Thanks for all your efforts. Good luck to you wherever it takes you. Make sure you keep Arabeth appraised of what you found. Great. Um, okay, so you weren't who I was supposed to talk to. Let me check the... Yeah, this missing guard. Missing beggars this guard was found captured by the Sword Coast boys in their warehouse. He's been told to wait where he is. Oh, 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 oh. Is he... Am I supposed to go talk to him again? If he was told to wait, you know, I'm not gonna. I don't, if we find ourselves back down there, I'll deal with it. But I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I don't care enough about him. <laughs> I'll be perfectly honest here. No. Oh. The beggar's nest is significantly safer, thanks to your efforts, Tallulah. Such work will earn you great respect here, Neverwinter. Oh, is that it? Okay. Well, great. Okay, let's go talk to um, Arabeth then and see what she says. See if she says anything about uh, City Gate. Wait, what's this place? Oh, barred from the other side. Could you sell it to Shelter Hall of Justice? Black Lake. I don't think I've really done anything in the Black Lake District. I'll have to go check that out. I think that's probably where my next most everything is going to go, but I want to talk to Arabeth and see if she has something to say about the assassins trying to murder me. A lady. Yeah, great. Um... Okay. I'm sure. Okay. No, that should do it. Okay. Um. So fit, 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 Yeah. Whatever. Benthic. Benthic. Yeah. Let me see. Hmm. A traitor in Neverwinter? One who betrayed us at the Academy? This would explain much to Lula. Everybody everybody knew the Academy was being used to house the water daving creatures, Fenthic. Even the students themselves had heard the rumors. Continue. Jeez. The attack was the result of gossip and loose lips from those Arabeth chose to trust instead of my faithful Helmites. Hel Hel Helmites? We'll be wasting our time looking for this phantom spy. You knew about that. Ooh, I like that one. I kind of like the idea of putting his feet to the fire. But I'm going to play this one a little closer to the vest than that. We're going to go with this one. The attackers knew enough to go straight to where the creatures were being held. You make a good point, Tallulah. The attack on the Academy would not have been so s so efficient had they been relying solely on rumors. Rest assured that I intend to follow every lead in my efforts to find out who is behind the suffering in Neverwinter. You have done well to bring this to me, Tallulah. Yeah, it's an honor. Lord Nasher has given me the authority to grant compensation for those who serve our cause. For bringing me this note, I can give you 250 gold. Uh, yeah, great. I wasn't actually really intending to get money out of it, so cool. Is there anything else you need? Um, no, I think that's all. Go with the blessing of tear upon you. Okay, so we did that, um, and we got some stuff for it, but... Wow, he's really grumpy. I should have put his feet to the fire. I should have, I should have done it. But the fact that there wasn't any sort of, like, follow-up makes me think that maybe that would have just been a dead end anyway. Um, okay. You are a welcome sight yeah, 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 yeah. You say that every time. Can you hear me? Thanks, friend. Okay. Great. Goodbye. Okay, let's, um... 
let's go to that uh dark dark lake or dark like like side district whatever th whatever it's called this one up here black lake district castle never so i'm wondering if the castle and or dark lake are the places to go hold on what's what do you have to say about it Oh, Nashville will be among the first to, th first to sample it, of course. His rejuvenation will inspire people. They need inspiring. I will not waste your time, Tallulah. Lord Nasher feels you have proven too valuable to harass with idle chatter. For his health and for everyone in Neverwinter, please continue your, your efforts. Okay, so we can't go in there yet. Um, that's I'm guessing that's endgame. Um, so let's go here then? Yeah, we haven't done anything here yet. So, who are you? Kendrin, the uninjured. Please, can you help me? I don't know what to do. Uh, just tell me what's wrong. Uh, my name is Kendrin. Everything has gone wrong. This whole area is overrun, and those bastards in the Black Lake don't care. They've locked themselves away, abandoning the whole place. Yeah, why is it in such bad shape, buddy? After the wailing began, we got caught between quarantine and the Black Lake barricades. We were at the mercy of the plague thugs. Some of them used to be friends, but... The plague took their minds, drove them mad, became like animals. And Loxar showed up. Yeah, who's this Loxar? Loxar is a big half orc, not sure where he came from. He showed up after the first few plague thugs started going mad. Loxar looted in their looted in their wake. After a while, when the place was disrupted, Loxar just started killing people and taking whatever he wanted. I think he realized the guards don't care about us in here. I think I'm one of the last survivors reason to stay. He's, he's killed my family. He's taken everything. I just want to know he's dead before I try to get to the city core. Um. Yeah. I'll see what I can do. Y you will? Thank you. Oxar is in this no man's land somewhere. He's pretty much taken whatever houses he's wanted. There's still plague. Mad thugs around too. Please be careful. You're the first person to give a damn about anything that has happened here. Thank you. Aw, oh, buddy. I got you back. I got you back, bro. Take care of this. Clear this place out one house at a time. Whoa! A diseased thug. That sounds above board. Me just going around killing diseased thugs. Alright, well, I always feel bad killing the dogs, but they don't really give you much choice. We don't really have a a, a, a tame a tame beast <laughs> option. There's not really a an animal handling role to make <laughs> at any point during these combats. Ruins of Illusk. We just read that book. Right, let's see what's upstairs. If there's anything at all. Oh no, nothing at all. We cannot go up there. What is with all the people in this town living with just destroyed stairways? Like there, I have. Every single one of them, like half of their entire home is just unavailable because of collapsed stairs, and they just don't seem to care. Ah, oh, man, my nose it's just so bad right now. I have no idea why. <sighs> man, it makes me look, I'm sure it makes me look like a junkie constantly scratching at my nose right now. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, it's a rabid dog. Oh, buddy. Cujo. Cujo, friend. Wow, it's just just feels like poor sportsmanship to kill all these guys, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> Alright, what's in here? Oh, no, there we go. Whew. Yeah, it just it just feels it just it's too easy. It's too easy, gonna be honest here. I feel like kind of a kinda of, kind of a heel killing all these guys. With all the rabid dogs everywhere, I wonder if that's like the hint that this this wailing death that they're talking about is just rabies. There's no hope for anyone who's already sick. If you're already showing symptoms, it's it's game over, bucko.
Tommy, are you... He must be killing people. Tommy, what are you... Buddy? Why are you getting all these people all riled up next to you? Oh, did we level up with that one? Heck yeah, baby. Tommy, what are you doing, buddy? He must have some sort of status effect going on with him. Cannot rest at this time. There we go. Let's just rest up. Don't know what you're dealing with, Tommy, but let's take a rest here and let's get that fixed up. <laughs> I want to talk about abusing the long rest system. We were talking about that during the writing stream today. About players in D and D being able to abuse the, um, uh, the the long rest system. All right, there we go. Good level up. Tommy is now leveled up as well. Perfect. Um, you know, and how you can mitigate players so they don't abuse that and just long rest after every battle. And uh, it's just funny that we were talking about that because in this game, that's 100% the most abusable component of the game. <laughs> Just kind of backtrack until you find a safe place to sit down and just wait and get all your health back. Not, not really anything going on over here in this corner. Everything, wow, like they, this place really did go to hell in a handbasket, didn't it? I mean, like, we're not just talking about people occupying innocent folks' homes. Like, they just flat out destroyed half the architecture around, ar ar architecture around here. <laughs> this is bad. Alright, um, let's see here. You like, you, you love killing dogs? Tommy, that's a little messed up, man. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I'm not sure I'm comfortable with being that murderous. Tommy... Alright, I guess we're gonna go after these guys. Not, uh, I'm not overly fond of how far... Oh, oh man, oh man. See, this is why, this is why, Tommy, we don't just run in every time we see a single bad guy. We just got absolutely mobbed here. I mean, we're handling it, but still. My God. What a massacre. Oof. Oof, this is brutal. I, I'm going to be honest, I don't feel good about this one. <laughs> we just we just slaughtered an entire town's worth of people. And make no mistake, it was a slaughter. That was just... just no, 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 nothing sporting about that. That was just... Just flat out brutality. No other way to describe it. Anyway, gosh, the screams, the screams in this game, it's just, they're so visceral. Like, they did not hold, they did not pull any punches in this, in this game when it comes to the voice acting. Like, man, oh man, people are just in desperate pain in those screams. Oh, jeez, is this, the, oh, this is Loxar. I think we can take him. Oh, is Tommy out? Tommy's out. Uh-oh. Oh, and he's barely injured. Uh oh I might be in trouble. Oh, we're making progress here. Just pay attention to my health here. Okay, we're at half health. Let's uh, just get our inventory open to our potions here. Um, let's do a moderate wounds here. Oh, uh, we might have to do... Uh, Serious wounds here. All right, keep hitting them. Keep hitting them. Uh, um, how are we doing? Yeah, we're still okay. He's badly wounded. I, I, I might be able to take him. I 
Honestly, it actually might be smart to just take out the dog here really quick. There we go. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Whew. Okay, that was close. We'll keep attacking him. Okay. Yeah, he's near death. Okay, we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. Whew. Okay, I was a little nervous there. It was uh, it was kind of looking just a smidge dicey there for a second, but I think, I think I'm gonna be able to get him. Well, I say that, but now here we are. Come on, finish him off. There it is. There it is. Okay, let's just drink the light wounds, potions, as many as it takes. Alright. The head of Lock... Wow! Wow, no punches pulled on that one, man. I'll tell you what. Um, oh, wait, no, no, no. This, this one is over there. Unidentified cloak. Yeah, the head of Luxar, though. That's going... Put that with the key items section. <laughs> What's that? Ad adamantium. Sweet. Put that right there. Great. All right, well, we took care of him, and we will go back and... Actually, you know what? Let's just go back and get Tommy now, because I bet you there's stuff to unlock here, so... Let's go ahead and use this here. Get ourselves back. Tommy. Tommy, are you here? Hey, buddy. Hi, buddy. Yep. Yeah. All right. Great. All right, buddy, back we go. Actually, no, while I'm here, um, hold on, while I'm here, we are going to do that, but we might as well, we might as well get ourselves our free heal out of it, right? Great. See ya. No, 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 go, go in. There we go. All right, fitty old. Use the portal there. Okay, great. Is this locked or? Oh, three whole gold. It's not much gold. <laughs> and then broken. Okay, wow. There really was not anything to do in there except for just kill that guy. Yeah, nothing to gain. Oh well. At least we did a good thing for that one dude. We'll get him. On the next time we walk by him, I'm sure it won't be long. <laughs> Let's be real here. A magic rod, sweet. I'll show you a magic rod. <laughs> ah, that's a dumb, inappropriate joke. <laughs> All right. Always worth it to look around and make sure we found everything there is to find. Never know where they might be hiding a larger fistful of gold or something like that. That house is burned out. Nothing to do there. Anything up here? Nope. Potion of antidote. I bet you that can go in there. Alright, here we go, it's on. There we go. Okay, moderate wounds, we will absolutely take that. Um, what's in this building? No one trying to murder me yet. That's kind of nice. I don't really care about the arrows. And then that's broken. Great. A house without someone trying to kill me. That's a nice change. Although, I mean, <sighs> the flip side is I feel like maybe I don't really have license to be upset when people try to kill me when I enter a house. Because let's even assume... Uh, let's assume even that it's not, uh, like, filled with crazy thugs and stuff like that. Like, if someone 
just broke into my home, I'd probably be a little on the side of maybe I should defend my property, right? Yeah, like I would, I would probably defend my home. If someone with a sword came in here and started pilfering all of my stuff, I'd probably, I'd probably take a swing at him. I mean, just, it just seems logical, right? It's like, oi, that's my stuff, leave. And when they say no, it's like, okay, I guess I'll make you. It's a pretty reasonable human response, I think. <laughs> all right, um. Let's go through here, I guess. Um, okay. Stop right where you are, citizen. Commoners are not allowed to enter the Black Lake District. Yeah, under our best. <laughs> the city guard has so many new recruits, I can't even keep up. I think I heard of you, though. Commander to find the weird, the, the water avian creatures. Have you heard anything about them? I just heard that they're supposed to cure the plague or some such. I think it'd be a desperate fool who'd believe that. Monsters don't cure plagues. Ah, but their but their but their organs might, and that's all that I'm worried about. Yeah, where might they be? Sorry, no tales of monsters running about the district. Not that I've heard anyway. Yeah, maybe there's more. Strangely, I suppose Meldenan would be would certainly qualify. Although acting strange is nothing new for him. He's a wizard, they say. Sort of an odd bird amongst the nobility. People have been saying that Meldenen's hoarding food. Some think that he should share some of it with the common folk. I don't know. I wouldn't go messing with Mel Meldenen, though. Myself. Something else you need, then? Uh, no, I guess that's it. Give your tunic gone already. Great. We're in. <laughs> I'm in. Oh yeah, that's right. Black Lake's like the the rich people part of town. So like people aren't dying all over the place. And also I'm definitely not going to be feel too bad about taking their stuff. Melvin and his kind are a scourge. Audience member, audience member. Um, I don't know if I know enough about it. It is, after all, the duty of people to watch over their own. What say you? Uh, who? You don't know about Meldanen? Well, you must not be from around here, that's for certain. Meldanen is a vicious and evil little man. He does whatever he pleases in Black Lake because he has two things, magic and power. Probably money, too. He kidnaps people for his experiments and has all sorts of magical abominations in his estate, and all the other nobles pretend not to notice. Well, I won't, and I'm not intimidated by him. His merchant house has been hoarding food and goods for years in this district, and he should give it up, whether he likes it or not. Um, yeah, how do you know there's an actual hoard? You talk like that's in question. Meldanen has never denied that fact, and everyone in Black Lake knows it's true. He keeps a warehouse... We already established I'm not from around here. Come on, give me a break. He keeps a warehouse near here, locked up so tight with spells and wards, there's no hope of access without the proper key. Otherwise, the city would have stormed it long ago, I'm sure. Everyone's too frightened of Meldanen to do anything about it, however. So much easier to sit behind these walls and pretend there's no plague at all. Alright, well, I'm gonna say goodbye. I'm not gonna weigh in on it. I'd expect as much. Go on, then. Cower with the others. Whoa! Whoa! That is an inflammatory accusation that I'm going to do nothing about it. I'm just simply not making a spectacle of myself, ma'am. Okay, moving on. Citizen, citizen, citizen. Oh my gosh, look at all the things to pilfer here. I think people will be mad about me just, like, taking all the random stuff that are leaving everywhere. 
I mean, no one around here seems to mind that I do anything else. I don't want I don't want random bullets. Great, thanks, bud. I suppose it's in here. Ooh, a potion of bark skin. Put that in there. Save that one for a rainy day. What's in here? Word against simple spells. Oh, I bet you that's uh, that's uh, Melden and Meldonans, whatever. Meldor's home is what I bet that is. Barrel. There's so many barrels here. So much free crap. A Hodge State Guard. Hello. You'd better step back. Only those in the company of Mr. Hodge are allowed to enter this estate. I am on duty, so I really shouldn't be chatting. But it gets awful boring just standing here. Usually I'm cleaning inside. Ask your questions and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, yeah, anything interesting going on? Interesting? What I know about interesting? This is the first I've been outside in weeks. I'm usually inside, minding the dusting and whatnot. Sorry, but I can't help you there. Anything else you need? No. Goodbye. Do as you will. I'm not paid enough to worry about this. Does that mean you're cool with me just going in here? Hold on. I'm gonna... I'm gonna save. Alright, no. I just want to just overdo this one. Save. Yeah. Uh, I'm taking... One of the L's to spell it right. <laughs> so there we go. Alright, um... Just in case I anger him. See if he gets pissed at me, like, for unlocking the door. Is he pissed at me? Hello. Hello. Okay, so he doesn't seem to care that we unlocked the door. I'm gonna try it. Still not pissed? Alright, I'm going in. Whatever. Trap triggered. Oh, it didn't seem to do a whole lot, so great. Ow. This guy's a suspicious son of a gun. But I'm totally pilfering all of his crap. <laughs> 100%. Wow, he trapped the crap out of his home. Oh my goodness. Wait, can I just like rest all? Yeah, if I can just rest all that I need to, I don't care. <laughs> just to be used that system, M like just absolutely shamelessly. <laughs> Great. Just gonna look through everything there is to look through around here. Wow, this is a heck of an estate. I'm actually really glad I'm in here to pilfer everything. Is it a storeroom? Great. Bolt of lightning. Sweet. I'll take that. There we go. Uh, let's see. Anything... Pelfer in there. Nope, nothing there, but we got a few of these crates here. There's barrels full of random bits of coin. What's this? Portion of bull strength. I know we've already got a couple of those. Add another one to the pile. I don't use it very often, but. In fact, I don't know if I've used a potion of bull strength once, to be honest. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> got them St. James Infirmary Blues. Oh. oh, sorry to hear you got the blues. Uh oh, oh, okay. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh wow, we're in it now. We're in it now. It's okay. It looks like these guys don't have much of an answer for the amount of crap that we can get done here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> only cure is home brewing a race. A, a very specific cure for a very specific ailment. I I understand. There we go. Great. Uh, 
Alright, so we took care of all those guys, y'all. There we go. Cool, well we killed all those guys, and luckily, as I've discussed before with this game, the good news is, is it doesn't, okay, wow. Doesn't seem to really, uh, have any sort of consequences for just, like, running through and robbing everyone, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. <laughs> Do that and take advantage of our of our resting mechanic here. This place is very labyrinthian here. Everybody's <laughs> coming to you probably never. Oh, don't say that. I'm sure you'll finish it. But yeah, do it then, you goof. What are you doing just standing there? There we go. What's in there? Great. Six whole gold. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, that one's trap. Oi, you. Uh, handle the trap. What do you mean no can do? <laughs> All right, hold on. Just in case. <laughs> All right. We'll just go trigger this. As long as I've done one shot KO me, it's not a big deal. Yeah, I didn't hardly do anything. Cold damage. Well, we'll just go ahead and rest it off. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Nightmare names range from trying to, to a child scream. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be perfectly honest, you're losing me here, man. Uh, I'm not. I'm not entirely sure I'm tracking what you're working on. You sound like you've got a very clear vision of what you're talking about, but <laughs> it's it's it is beyond me. Whatever it is, potion of bless that goes in there. <laughs> Grab that. Wait, what is this? Potion of cure moderate wound. Oh, because I already got ten of them. Okay. Is that Torin's ring? Okay, wait. Hold on. I want to put Torin's ring over here. And then let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Critical. Okay, so let's just slide our. I don't know what this whole special holy water is. I'm gonna put this over here. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I picked that one up. I'm not. I'm not sure what that does for me. Let's just reorganize all these things. All right. Let's see. Running off like two hours of rest. Well, that'll do it. That'll do it. I suppose that kind of explains it. <laughs> Should probably get yourself some sleep or something. What are you doing? You're goofing around watching me goof around. What happened to me? Paralyzed. Under the influence of this effect. Well, luckily there's nothing actually attacking me while I'm paralyzed. So that's nice. I have that going for me. <laughs> why would they why would they put a paralysis trap? <laughs> when there's nothing else to like hurt me while I'm paralyzed. I don't understand. Do Alright, what's in here? More free stuff, I'm assuming. There we go. Yep, figured that one would be locked. I may go deal with it. Alright, what do you got? What's in here? Thieves tools. Great, I can sell that. Excellent. Check this cabinet. Let's see here. Are you gonna go deal with that for me again? Or finally? Thanks, thanks, bud. Can you unlock this thing like I really wanted you to do? Let's see here. Let's finish it all. Allows you to. Wow, that sounds absolutely horrifying. Sounds absolutely horrifying. <laughs> dreams, nightmares. I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that that's not my experience here. All right, this is gonna freaking yeah. All right, they blew me up. 
<laughs> so we'll just rest. We might as well. I like that every single guard was in a single room in this estate. What a strange way to organize your guards. <laughs> All right. What's in this door? More traps. Wonderful. You, you okay there, Tom? Well, we'll just go ahead and rest. Let's just go ahead and sit it off. Just, just, just rest, rest, rest it all away. <laughs> so this is like the most boring stream I've ever done. We're just sitting here spamming the rest, but it's like I mean, no consequence for it, and I might as well just in case I run into another contingent of like fifteen guards. Uh, let's see here. All right, just there. Okay, well while you're doing that one, I guess I'll trigger these. Oh wait, you're you're on it. Thanks, bud. I don't know if you finished unlocking this thing. Okay, unlock unlock that. Grab that. Take this free thing. There we go. I'm gonna have to go to a merchant soon. Dude, why didn't you finish unlocking this? What are you doing, you goof? Dude, what are you doing? Unlock it, Tommy. Get over there. Doctor, facilier but capable of stuff. I don't. I don't know if I. I don't know if I recognize that name. I don't know if I know that reference. A gilded urn. Well, I don't know what this is, but I'll try and sell it. Note from Hodge. This note from Hodge is intended for of Ophala Chelderstorn and consists of an almost steady stream of profanities and curses. Apparently, they have been exchanging such sentiments for a great deal of time and he is none too pleased with having had to flee his refuge yet again. Standard fare for vanquishing fo for vanquished foes. Okay. okay. I don't know that I'd track any of that, but I'm going to hold on to this just to be safe. I have to look it up. I would say so if I don't if I don't recognize it. I suppose that's the that's the next step, isn't it? I'll have to try and remember to do that after the stream. All right, let's see here. So that's Okay, that's everything around here. Is this door trapped? I'm going to take the long way around. I'm not going to go through that door. <laughs> I don't trust it. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Alright. Um, still got an entire other half of this estate to look through, apparently. What is behind door number two? Oh, it wasn't trapped. That's a good start. Oh, well, never mind. There was the trap. Hey, Tommy, what are you doing? Tommy, what are you doing, buddy? You're just, like, disarming a bunch of stuff for me, just out of the blue. <laughs> I mean, great. I don't, I don't know why you're doing this, but okay. All right, well, hopefully, if I get my... Yeah, there he goes. Now he's following me. Uh -huh. Oh, enemies nearby. Well, I know exactly what I'm going to find through here, then. That's right. We ended up handling everyone pretty easily last time. Oh, good. There's a trap on the ground. these guys are complete pushovers. Tommy, can you, uh, there you go. There you go, bud. Thanks, hero. Oh, there's more enemies nearby, though. Great. That's my favorite. Alright, let's see here. Man, I'm getting a whole lot of crap from here, and I don't even really know what the relevance of this place is. <laughs> If I'm being perfectly honest, <laughs> not perfectly sure who this person is or why I'm stealing all stealing all of his crap, but that's definitely what's happening right now. And I'm gonna be perfectly honest, I don't really feel that bad about it. What is this? Look at this giant book. I wish I could read that. I want to know what's. I want to know what thing was so important that they had to make it so giant. Come on, we're on the plant. Piles? What's here? What book? What book do we got? Okay, which book was this? Northern Four Adventuring Troop. I'm pretty sure I've read that one already. Desk for more studies and everything. 
So I can see it's in here. And everything is locked in here. Everything. I bet you in the last room, I bet you in the very last room that I go and explore in this place, I bet you there's a master key to everything. <laughs> like I would I would bet. I'm 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 willing. <laughs> I'm willing to bet. Potion of aid. I'm going there. All right, um, and then that's where we walked in. Okay, so let's go. Oh wait, I had a bookshelf. What's in here? The Sword Coast. I know I've read that one. Why is there a cougar in here? I don't. I don't understand. Why? Why are there two of these things? What are these doing in here? What kind of weird place is this? Why would you keep these? I don't understand. Cook. Oh, poor cook. Wait, you're uninjured. Never mind. There's probably your pets. I probably just murdered your pets, didn't I, cook? I'm sorry. Well, kind of sorry. Not really sorry. I mean, they tried to eat me first, so. I don't feel that bad about it. Two critical wounds for sure. We'll take that. Take that for selling. Hey, bra, what's up? I'm waiting for an answer. What are you doing in my kitchen? Probably a bandit. Uh, yeah, relax. I won't hurt you. Save your words. You'll get nothing from me. If you're looking for Master Hodge, he's already gone. You'd think the bugger knew someone was coming. He's taken his master keys with him. I couldn't help you if I wanted, which I don't. I don't get involved in the affairs of Master Hodge. I don't need the grief. If you'd share a relationship with him, I don't know which of you is worse off. Now get. My muffins are burning. <laughs> so you hot muffins. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Alright, um. Oh, we're fighting. We got a flurry of blows going on here. A noble guard. Oh wait, they're all noble guards. <laughs> that guy was just like waiting off to the side, like maybe they'll take care of it before I have to do anything. <laughs> Fool. There we go. Yeah, after this, I'm definitely gonna need to f find a shop. As soon as I'm done with it, hey, can I rest? There we go. Uh, let's get that going here. We could definitely use a little bit of a rest up here. Okay. Here we go. Aha, here we go. And then what's in the cabinet? I'm guessing it's locked. Oh, no, it wasn't. Wow. Oh. What a what a surprising change of affairs. Right. Yeah, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, boy. The normal door gives me six negative energy. Gonna be honest, it does not sound like a normal door. Normal doors don't give me negative energy. Just saying. Just throwing that observation out there. Is there like a hidden door? Oh, maybe it wasn't so hidden. Maybe I just didn't see it. Look at you go, Tommy. Yeah, you, you, you disable that trap, buddy. Oi, there's another one up there. Go do it. There you go. Right, all right, just want to make sure. Nope, nothing there. Okay, well, let's check out this room then. Some sort of storeroom here. Kind of disappointed that they didn't include, like, swarm of rats 
in this game because you hear all of the rats and it would be kind of funny if like my punishment for stealing this guy's stuff was I had to stomp a whole bunch of rats. It's like, well, that's what you get for trying to pilfer someone's storage room. Alright, that's the cook. Already took care of his room. So we can go up here and we can finish the rest of this. Only a couple more rooms left by the looks of it. Okay. Let's see here. Did you, Tommy? You're st like that traps are supposed to be your thing, bud. <laughs> uh, it's done. This is, ooh, oh! This appears to be the master bedroom. Fancy, fancy. There's the drawers. What is this? A potion of aid that can go in there. Is that everything? Yep, that appears to be everything in here. So now we just need to check this room. Ow. Eh, I don't want to rest right now. Glittering necklace. Ew, fancy, fancy. Yep, that's all you, Tommy. You got this. You got this, baby. Another glittering necklace. And a gemstone. Great. All right, cool. We pilfered a whole lot of valuable stuff out of here for really no discernible reason other than it was here to do. <laughs> so, great. We got that going for us. Although, it, the, guy's, the guy was given a name. I'm sure there's at least a side quest associated with him somewhere in this game, and I just haven't found it yet. All right, um, so that's just like a trapped hallway. Yo, bro, you want to... Want to get on this for me? There you go. Uh, it's done. Great. Thanks, Tommy. I don't really know why we needed to do that one. There's, I could just, you know, go this way. But you're, you're gonna do it. Thanks, buddy. You're the champ, Tommy. What would I do without you? Alright, um, easel. Nothing, nothing on it. Great. Tommy, where are you? Tommy, are you just like getting, are you, are you stuck on the world? No, you just stopped. There you go, bud. What are you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> weird weird sense of prioritization where he'll stop halfway through working on one thing to go do something else. It's like, no, do the do the one I instructed you to do first. Okay, what's in here? Four gold. Boy, I'm glad we went through that ordeal for four gold. Cool. Alright, well I killed all of that guy's friends. I hope he wasn't close with anyone out there. Anyone in there? What does he say? <laughs> Guy's clueless. All right. Well, anyway, see ya. Pleasure, pleasure stealing crap from from you and Mr. What's his M Mr. What's it there? What is this place? I wonder. I want to see what's going on in here. These are just all like really rich homes. Is that is that what I'm doing in here? Just like stealing a whole bunch of crap from really rich people? Because I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I just, you know, it'd be nice to know for sure that's what's going on. There's got to be a merchant in this, in this part of town somewhere here too that I can just like offload all of this crap that I'm stealing. <laughs> I, got, I got to get rid of it. I'm too hot right now. I'm too hot right now. The cops, the cops are after me. Oh, hi. Uh, 
What is this? Has the city fallen apart now? Get out of here this instant. I mean, it kind of has. You've just been sheltered from it because you're rich. Uh, I'm with the city guard. I, I suppose you can be trusted. A woman on her own in these dangerous times has to be cautious, you know. You, you understand. What was it you wanted then, madame? Uh, investigating the plague, perhaps you can help me? Uh, I'm no expert on the plague, madam. There is no plague in Black Lake, after all. But I will answer what I can. Uh, where of any strange creatures? Merciful heavens, no. Uh, well, there are the creatures in the zoo, of course. They have all been there since before the plague, however. Is it possible some creatures might have gained access to the zoo? Yeah. Uh, perhaps. I don't know. Sure shot, or that is, Lord Montgomery, is in charge of the zoo, and I haven't heard a peep from him since the whole plague business began. Perhaps you might want to speak to him. The zoo's in the northeast part of the district, if you haven't already been. Uh, okay, that's all. I'm sure you know the way out. Yep, yeah, but we may or may not take a little bit of a detour there. Alright, here we go. You, you better believe I'm checking out what this door is, though. Oh, it's just a way out. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't feel too guilty about Robin Hooding my way through here. The the rum bottom? Excuse me, the rum bottom? Great. I love that. <laughs> what time is it? Three, okay, yeah, we still got... We got, we got like 20 minutes before I got to be out of here. These guards don't care at all. Which is awesome. I am going to save though, just in case. The one thing I want to make sure I do is I, I want to make sure that I'm not caught off guard in case it changes. It the, the game changes its mind and starts penalizing me for being a thieving, conniving psychopath here. Oh my gosh. The layouts of these places are so extravagant and bizarre. This is great. What's happening? Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I don't really care. Like, there's not... There really isn't any... Punishment. Like, I don't, I don't get any comeuppance from... Killing these guys. So it's like, I might as well, right? I mean... Hold on. How, how am I doing on my weight here? Oh, you know, okay. My, my weight is perfectly fine. My carry weight... That I've got going on right now is totally fine. So we can just go ahead and keep pilfering and using more of the segments of my inventory. Are you unlocking the door? Come on, dude. There we go. Bro keeps getting distracted. He won't do stuff right away. It's like, dude, I hired you. I feel bad about killing this guard dog because this thing looks noble as hell. It's really, it's really rad looking. But I'm on a mission. And that mission is to kill and pilfer everything that I can from this city. Because I do feel like there's a certain like there's a certain catharsis here of being able to do the Robin Hood thing. I'm doing it maybe a bit more violently. But it's not like stealth is really an option in this game. So I don't... Yeah, it's not... This isn't the best way to be going about everything that I'm doing, but also... You know, it's. I feel like it's kind of morally moot. You know, take it or leave it. This is this is what I'm doing, and it's fine. Cause it's like you know, you walk into some of the places like Beggar's Nest, where there's zombies assaulting people, and you go to other places where like the plague has just completely decimated the entire population. And meanwhile, these rich people are just like oh, <laughs> about life. And so it's like, you know, I'm not sure I'm cool with you guys just being able to be all hoity-toity about it all here. So we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and collect upon. Uh oh, uh oh. My gosh, there's so many of them. Come on, we gotta get some attacks in here. Alright, hold on, let me pull out my inventory. I should probably be ready with a potion just in case here. Tommy's doing okay. I'm gonna potion myself up here. There we go. Alright, now we're good. No, 
I'd say probably at this point now we've got enough health. That, uh, yeah, you say that, but I think uh, I think it's more so that I cannot lose at this stage. Because this is the thing here. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. It's kind of weird walking into this house and they have like an entire small militia of guards for themselves. It's like, you know, that doesn't that doesn't scream above board to me. Like, that doesn't strike me as something that someone who pays their taxes and is charitable in their community, right? Like, it seems, seems a little on the fishier side of things to me. I'm going to be perfectly honest here. All right, let's see here. This chest, potion of fox's cunning. I'm pretty sure I already had one of those. Add it to our, add it to our patience bag. Potions master. Bullet. We just got like random bullets. <laughs> all, everyone's got all their belongings. Some of them have money. Some of them have potions. And then there's and then there's Jerry, who just has a has has a couple bullets sitting there. He's got his skivvies and and some bullets. <laughs> what a, what a strangely long hallway. The layout of this place is weird. Uh, honestly, I don't know that this sling is going to be actually worth the carry capacity it'll take up. <laughs> it makes me uncomfortable that there's just like dead meat hanging up and there's flies buzzing all over it. That's uh, it's like, did you not cure this properly, or why uh, why why are things set up this way? Got that. Um, that one's trapped, isn't it? Oh no, I guess not. This person is apparently a lot less suspicious, um, because they do not have nearly the same guard presence or er, trap presence as the other one. They definitely have the same guard presence. Yeah, the, the, the flies buzzing is, like, really uncomfortable. Okay. All right, let's see what's going on here. What do we got? I actually do kind of feel bad killing all the dogs. I wish there was like an animal handling option. <laughs> Instead of just flat out. What would it be killing all the dogs? Canine side? Canine side? I don't know. Yeah, whatever, whatever the term is, it's, it's sad. Alright, um. I wonder if we're at a point where it'll let me rest up rather than using all my potions. Do we need to take a rest? Yes, we can. Great. Super duper. What time is it? We've got about 10 minutes. I bet we can finish pilfering everything in this house at least. The rum bottom estate. Okay, I'm I'm gonna okay, I'm gonna be honest, my initial reaction to the name Rumbottom was a little was a little like, what on earth? But the more I think about it, the more I'd be okay if my last name was Rumbottom. That sounds that I mean it, it there are certainly worse last names to have and boy, that one just comes with a story built in, you know it does. <laughs> it's done. Ooh. Ooh, that looks pretty. Oh, come on now. Great. I've got a lot of stuff to identify next time I'm in a town. Or in a shop. Which would be in a town. But I'm in a town right now, so like next time in a town would be like this exact instant. I think I'm overthinking it. Uh, 
one's locked, yep. Alright, wait for him to unlock that. Put them, yeah, it always puts them in the first one that has space, which is kind of annoying to be perfectly honest, but. And then sling plus, okay, well, if they're going to throw the plus one at me with it, then I guess I'll take it to try and sell. <laughs> they're going to twist my arm about it. Go do the hard work for me, Tommy. Tommy, quit glitching out, you goof. Thank you, Tommy. Unidentified ring, sure, I'll take that. Sounds great. Oh boy, this seems like it's setting me up for something. <laughs> this really seems like it's setting me up for something right now. <laughs> Identified arrows? Yeah, we'll take those, I guess. In there. Oh, a book pile. Oh, uh oh. Yeah, okay, it was. I was right, it was setting me up for something. There we go. Great, taken care of. <laughs> Alright, what's in this book pile? Wars of the Creator Races. That was like one of the first books that I read when we first started this game. I remember that one. Oh, I'll take a thing of burning hands. Why not? As long as it's burning hands and not burned hands. Like I don't, I don't want to have burned hands. I just want it to be burning hands. What's this? The City of Luskin. Read that one. Time of Troubles. I'm pretty sure I read that one as well. Okay. Moving on. And let's see what's here locked. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, it's weird. Maybe it's just a rich person thing, but I, I don't have anything really inside of my ho home that's locked. We have like one lockbox, and that's it. Everything else I have is, is kept unlocked. And then you just lock the front door. Maybe I'm the fool, though. Maybe, I, maybe I'm the one who's going to have all my crap stolen one day and think like... Should I should have kept everything in locked chests? Hindsight's twenty twenty. Yo, what's up? I greet, you. I greet you. By what the right do you enter my home? Did Ophala put you up to this? I demand to know. Um Yeah, I did not say I was set by Ophala. Oh, but who else would put you up to this? Hmm? Well if she wants that portrait, she should send real fighting men to get it. Uh yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to strong on this guy. Uh, now then, there's no call for that kind of talk. I didn't mean to threaten you. I just thought I'd try the old school discipline, eh? Yes. Obviously, your father means business. She's a capable muscle. Uh, take what you want. I'm not the fighter I once was. Yeah. <sighs> like the old days. J just don't hurt me. Oh. I'm going to feel bad. <laughs> It's pretty defeated after that, and I just, I wasn't even sent here by Ophala. I just came here to just, like, flat-out steal things. Like, I can't, I can't really act all noble. I didn't do this for a mission or anything. Aha, Ophala's portrait. Great. Ooh, and a spear. You were holding on to me, bro. Alright, 
Let's see our cup necklace. And then another quarter staff there. Good. Actually, no, I want to like rearrange some of this stuff here. Let's make this a bit more intelligently stacked for smarter handling of things. Look at that. That's, that's so much better. Okay, there we go. Great. Alright, pleasure doing business. Later, bro. <laughs> Alright, I think there's one more room to pilfer in here. What a, what a labyrinthian setup of a home. I mean, can you imagine having to walk all this distance every time you got home from the, like, the supermarket just to, like, change your clothes? What a what an inconvenient layout. I mean, I guess whatever floats his boat, but my goodness. My goodness, man. All right, we got this one last room. Maybe it'll turn into a couple rooms with this last area here to to pilfer our way through. Yeah, no, just one last room. Oh, there's guards. I should have known. I should have known that. I mean, honestly, I should have guessed. This guy has a lot of guards. For someone who's being all like, no violence, don't hurt me. This guy keeps a lot of guards ready to go to war for him. Kind of an odd situation. There we go. Go ahead and finish him. Go ahead and finish him. There we go. Who said that? I'm not perfectly sure who said that. That was weird. There we go. Grab all that. Grab the bolt of lightning. Might as well. Potion of speed. Super speed. Heck yeah. Alright, there we go. Cool. Cool, cool. That's like perfect timing. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave here and watch the guards do nothing. You'll do nothing. <laughs> they don't. It's because they don't want any of this. All right. Looking at the time, I think this is a good time to call it a session here. Made some good progress working our way through here. Got a level up in there. Sweet. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so good, 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 nice, chill, nice, chill gaming session, which is my favorite. Hopefully, this is some good background noise for you when you're working on whatever other projects you got going on. It's always kind of my hope. Um, but yeah, we made some good progress, and uh, I feel like we've got to be getting kind of towards the end, or at least the the quest that as it as it stands so far. We're getting pretty close. We've got three out of four of the things that we needed. So, so yeah, yeah, I feel it. I feel it. Um, Great, so uh, the rest of this week, uh, just uh, for the little bits of announcements before we really log off and call it a session, uh, the rest of this week is a little different than usual. Usually I do my Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday stream schedule. Um, but this week, because of Thanksgiving, it's going to be a little different. I'm leaving town. I'm going to be spending some time with some family on the second half of this week. So instead, uh, this week what we'll be doing is streaming uh, today, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So tomorrow and Wednesday, I will be back. Uh, with my usual Eastern Time Zone, 11.30 we'll be doing some writing, and uh, 1.30 we'll be doing some gaming. Um, should be here tomorrow and Wednesday for that. Um, so so feel free to come back and tune in for that kind of stuff. Um, other little announcements, I do have my Discord and my YouTube channel, so if those are of interest to you at all, you can feel free to check those out. You can find links to them on my Twitch page. Um, and aside from that, I think that's everything. I think that's all we got. So, uh, yeah, again, thank you to everyone who stopped by. Appreciate you guys. I I love that there are people that are interested in the stuff that I work on. It means a lot to me, and uh, it's always nice to it's always nice to see people enjoying what I'm putting out there. It encourages me to keep doing it. So, um, yeah, that's all I got. That's all I got. Uh, you guys are rad. I appreciate each and every one of you, um, and hopefully I will see you back tomorrow. Uh, until then, take care of yourselves. Take care of yourselves, uh, you know, on this fine Monday, moving forward the rest of this week, the rest of this holiday week, and, uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing you next time. Until then. Until then, my friends. Bye.